it is a great pleasure for me to have you, Dr. Scholl Saconi, here. Since I worked under your direction some months when I was performing my PhD several years ago. So I would like to share uh, my lecture uh, with you. I hope it can be seen well uh, and you can listen to me. So once more, uh, it's a very great pleasure and honor for me to keep a lecture on your very nice conference. Even if it is just an online conference, and normally we know that the best conference is in a real time, real meeting conference. But we hope that I also hope that very soon uh, we can meet somewhere all over the world in a normal conference in a normal time with safety conditions. So, uh, first of all, before I start to talk about the chemistry and the science, I hope I can jump. Yes. Uh, I would like to sh shortly introduce Hungary, which is in the middle of Europe, and Szeged, with a small video. You can at least have got any idea where you can find Szeged. Szeged is a small city in the south part of Hungary, close to the Serbian border. It's a very nice city with 160,000 people and a very nice university, University of Szeged, with 25,000 students and approximately 5,000 staffs in there. And you can see now very soon the Faculty of Pharmacy building in the middle of the city, in the center of the city. It's a very nice old building uh, and uh, there are five institutes and one of these institutes is the Pharmaceutical Chemistry Institute and you can see now my window where I'm working exactly and also you can see very soon just a, a small picture about the city center with a, a, a very nice Catholic church in the middle. Okay, and then we can start uh, uh, the real topic. Uh, as you know, uh, the uh, uh, discovery of new drugs are very important uh, still nowadays, especially in a special area which are really important in the pharmacy, like anti-cancer therapy, but all the other therapy can be very important. And it's very important point of view that the compound should be based on uh, such kind of natural uh, sources. So let's see the real results and discussion part of the lecture. Uh, starting from the commercially available uh, stevizoid with uh, oxidative uh, cleavage, we could prepare uh, the uh, glycon steviol with 30% yield, which is not so bad. That is known in the literature, this kind of reaction. In the next step, we prepare the methyl ester with diazomethane. Originally, three different uh, pathways were tried to do to get the methyl ester. The first was the diazomethane, the second was methyl iodide, uh, potassium iodide, uh, potassium carbonate with BMF. And the second was the dimethyl sulfate with, in the presence of lithium hydroxide. Although the diazomethane uh, was the lowest yield, but that was the most safe and very fast reaction, as you can see. The reaction take place within five minutes at room temperature acceptable yields. So having the ester of the allylic alcohol, the next step was a crucial step, uh, the epoxidation of the uh, methylene function. Uh, this was uh, accomplished with vanadyl acetyl acetonate in the presence of tertiary butyl peroxide. So vanadyl uh, acetyl acetonate was the catalyst and the oxidative agent was the tertiary butyl peroxide. And in this case, we observed the highly stereoselective epoxidation process, and we could only isolate it uh, one diastereoisomer, uh, which is practically was the trans isomer of the epoxy alcohol. Also, uh, the diazomethyl, uh, diazomethyl reaction, we can get a small amount of uh, cyclopropinated compound, which is also known in the literature, but could be eliminated quite easily by chromo column chromatography. So, uh, we also studied the epoxidation process with different uh, epoxidation agents like metachlor perbenzoic acid or paracetic acid or perbenzoic acid. Uh, each case, the reaction was very stereoselective, but in the case of, uh, the case of uh, uh, dimethyl dioxiran, we, that was the only when we isolated uh, the other diastereoisomer as a minor component, you can see the ratio was 2 to 1, but we could isolate it by column chromatography, this minor component, which was perfectly new, not known compound in the literature. 
And then uh, we studied the ring opening process of the oxidan ring system. In the first step, we uh, opened the oxidan ring with uh, sodium azide, and we could observe uh, the corresponding uh, azido diols uh, in good yield. And the next step was a very interesting step. It is called as a click reaction. In dichlormethane, uh, in the presence of copper sulfate and sodium ascorbate, uh, the azide function reacts with alkenes, forming this type of uh, uh, triazolodiols in a radioselective uh, cycle addition process. And then uh, the next step, we tested uh, these compounds in a panel uh, against the panel of human utterance cancer cell lines. Uh, 